What's going on YouTube? Zero Elite here, and I'm back again with a new video. Episode 55 of the Disco Era USS Enterprise tutorial. I just want to thank you very much for tuning into today's video, and if you haven't, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and helping me in supporting the channel. I can't thank you enough for that. And today we have a bunch of stuff to work on. Uh, not a super long video, but about 23 minutes nonetheless. And uh, we're going to be doing just a little bit of detailing on the outside of our shuttle bay doors. We're going to be going up into the saucer section and working on, excuse me, the turbo lift entrance to our bridge uh, that we didn't complete from before. And then we're going to uh, work on the entrance to the medical bay. And then we're going to add in a little bit of detailing for the... Uh, circle corridors on the saucer section and then we'll fill in some of the floor for the medical bay to wrap up the episode um, so what we're going to be doing is we're essentially going to be adding a we kind of got a couple of uh, gray blocks here but we're going to be completing um, this pattern here um, i'm going to go to the inside to do it i'm going to get rid of one of these blocks Perfect. So the outside is uh, only had a couple of blocks missing. So we're going to go to the inside and we're going to do a little bit more patterning on this side on the floor. And we're going to get rid of all these white blocks underneath white quartz and you get rid of that too underneath the white quartz we're going to fill that in with a darker gray Let's get rid of that one as well. Okay, now we're going to go back with the white. I stand corrected on the underside of the white quartz. We're going to bang this out real quick. And I'm kind of doing this the hard way uh, at this point. The easiest way to do this would be from the underside of the ship. But um, I'm just kind of trying to rush through it. Now we're going to add a, de a line of the darker gray detail. This is going to make our shuttle bay door pop a little bit more and uh, stop it from blending in so much with the floor. Only thing we're really missing is just a little bit of light. Get rid of that sea lantern and let's grab actual sea lanterns. And we don't really need a ton. We're just going to add a light here or here. Let's do it right there. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Boom. And that's really all we need. Don't need a super amount of light right there, just enough to light it up. All right, now we're going to be working our way up to our saucer section. And we're going to be going over to the turbo lift entrance to bring us into the bridge. Uh, the last time we left off at this, um, it was going at a curve. We're going to fix it to go with the rest of the ship and just have it to be straight. And it's actually going to be directly across from our medical bay. Um, so once we're done uh, fixing this area right here, we'll make the entrance for the medical bay.
See, I'm just continuing on the pattern of the rest of our turbo lifts. I think before we had this, this room was just ever so slightly smaller, but you can see I'm kind of shifting it back to the three by three from what we originally had. That's actually going to have to move over one. Perfect. Okay, let's fill that in. And I'll put another row of red on this side. It's this way there's three blocks in the middle of the gap, so we can have a solid... Um, white concrete in the middle to simulate the door. We can get rid of those two blocks also. We can fill them in. I need to change that red one to the dark gray. See, that's actually too low. So what we'll do is we'll just bring it up one, and then the roof, we'll change that in. See where I'm building? This isn't in the bridge, so we can change this. Not a big deal. And that's just going to happen. There's going to be parts of your ship, like I said, we're not going to be filling in every single section. There's going to be tiny gaps here and there. That's just going to be the way it, you know, ends up when you're building these custom ships. Let's get rid of that dark gray. Replace that with white. Just have everything consistent. Looking good so far. Let's grab a ladder so this way we can actually build our ladder going up into the bridge. You can see sometimes I like to jump around a little bit with what I'm working on. And uh, I highly recommend it for anybody when you're building a ship of this scale. Because sometimes, you know, like I said, when you're building, you get burnt out on things or... Um, you might get frustrated with what you're doing, and the best thing to do in that case is just to walk away specifically from what you're doing and work on something else, come back to it. Um, even, you know, don't worry about getting it all done in one setting, you know, it's a process, you know, but doing it little by little, each section, eventually it's all going to come together, which is kind of where we're at right now. You can see that we took a break from uh, this area from a couple of episodes, now we're coming right back into it fresh, and we're just literally just building out the exact uh, turbo lift that we had before. You can see what I'm doing here is I'm moving this red beam back by one because what we're going to do is in front of that, um, we're going to put the darker gray block. So now hopefully make a little bit more sense why I did what I did right there. We just pretty much just moved this room back just by one block. Perfect. Okay. See all this axis here. We're just going to get rid of it. We're just going to reshape this part of the room. We'll just go straight across. That's going to be the easiest thing to do because all this room here <clears throat> is going to be the medical bay. So there's no sense in taking up all that real estate with a hallway when we can just have a door on the opposite end and call it a day. Um, so that's exactly what we're going to do. And I think, uh, after we make this change, it's actually going to look really good in this area now. Oh, made that red. Need to make that light gray. Perfect. We just need light. 
Let's put that there temporarily. Let's get rid of those gray blocks. Okay. Now we're starting to get everything consistent with what we had before. We're getting there. You can see now that literally just building the outline for where our medical bay entrance is going to be directly across from our turbo lift. I don't know why in this part of the video I used that black concrete. I'm going to have to go back to the dark gray just because it sticks out so much. I think that's maybe what I was trying to go for right here is like have like the bracket shape going across. But I don't know if that's going to work in this area because of the fact that it's a double sided door. So, I mean, we can throw it up, see what it looks like. If it looks weird, we can always take it down. There we go. Switch that to the white concrete. Get that quartz out of there. Okay. And to swap that out for dark gray. Only thing we're missing now is our sea lantern light shafts. Now, this one on the left, we're not really going to be able to do much about that because that's on the actual ladder. Um, maybe at some point I'll end up swapping it out just so it's consistent with the rest of the ship, but. That's the only reason I didn't do it was because the ladder is standing in right there. I'm just trying to get a flow for what I have here to walk in from this part of the room, which looks uh, more complete into this one. I feel like uh, it's a getting a, to be a closer transition, but this dark line here, I'm just not really feeling that too much. So we're going to get rid of that. Maybe what we can do is just in the parts where there's a doorway, have like a white flooring here or change the color um, just to get a little bit more of a pattern than the floor. I don't know. Kind of like what we had going on right there because that doesn't look bad with the white and then the gray. In the middle there, we're going to do a sea lantern. Let's get rid of that one on the floor. Probably get rid of that last uh, light gray line. All right, that looks, uh, that's looking pretty good. We can get rid of this lighter line here because it don't really have that on the Disco Era Enterprise. At one point I did, and I believe I have this uh, line on the tutorial uh, corridors also, but I ultimately decided to take it off. And make that just a little bit wider. I think that matches better. Missed the block right there. I'll have to change that out and that one too. I grabbed the wrong shade of carpet. There we go.
We're going to complete that line going across. So this way this stays consistent with what we have over in the other wing. Well, I should say the other intersection, I guess. Get rid of that and then put a gray line here in there. We'll have to get rid of that line of gray going to the left. Always come back to it. Now we're going to do the same thing on this side. Continue the carpet almost straight across. We're going to stop before we hit this darker gray line. We're extending out this block by one on this side. We're going to do the same thing on the left. Get rid of that dark gray block. Move it back there and there. Perfect. You see those are entrances for a medical bay. We don't want to get rid of those. We want to keep that. See that line here. I think this might be the last one. We we're definitely moving along, getting down to the last eight minutes of the episode. Some of this is a little mundane, but still, nonetheless, very important part of the build. Every detail helps. And uh, in a moment, we're going to cut out our doorway for our uh, medical bay, putting in some flooring to prep out the next couple of episodes. I've actually, uh, lately, I've been having a few more people making suggestions. Uh, I had somebody suggest uh, to do the brig on uh, the Enterprise. And I thought that could be actually really interesting. Um, because I haven't um, built that type of brig before. I made the one from the uh, Star Trek in the Darkness, but I've never made a, a TOS brig. And I know that they had them. They, they must have had them. So that's going to be something I'm going to be looking into, actually. Uh, doing some research on to see what they looked like. And I think that's something I'm definitely going to add. If there's some other rooms that you guys would like to see on the interior of the Enterprise that I have not done yet, Sound off in the comment section below. Um, I usually, well, if not always, base uh, what I build off of the comment section. And you guys help me determine what type of content I'm releasing on the channel. Uh, combined with that and, you know, what the stuff that I can get passionate about. I've also been having a lot of people comment on uh, what type of uh, builds they want to see me do next. I've had some people uh, asking for the Excelsior a lot lately, and uh, that can definitely be a really cool build. Um, I think the Excelsior is probably something that's, again, that's going to be another ship that's going to happen. I'm just not sure when that's going to happen at this point. But uh, that would definitely be a really cool ship to do, and uh, I look forward to doing that. But uh, we still have a lot of stuff to cover um, on our Disco Enterprise. And then uh, after the Disco Enterprise, I'm going to be doing the Enterprise D and Voyager, as promised. And then from that, I've got a you know, more stuff, uh, more goodies planned for you guys in the future. On top, not even counting my Starship Evo builds, um, I've got something that I'm working on uh, right now. If you follow me on Steam, you can probably, uh, if you go into the workshop and check out my builds, you can get a sneak peek into what I'm working on. I'm not going to say what I'm working on, but it's, it's pretty cool. And uh, you can definitely check that episode coming out this Monday. So keep an eye out for that as well. You can see right there I switched the sea lanterns. That was actually wrong. Uh, that should have been the, the darker gray blocks like that we were using before. Um, I might have just gotten scatterbrained at that time, or maybe I was just trying out something new. But um, I don't know if I was really feeling those sea lanterns on the ground being exposed like that. The aqua just... Um, not in the corridors like this, just doesn't really seem to go with the rest of the ship. Really the only places that I've been trying to use it is only where I have to. Some places in the, in the upper lighting area here, but down here on the floor it just doesn't look right. Alright, so now we're back in our area we were just working on a few moments ago. We we're mapping out our, building out our entrance for our turbo lift to go into the bridge. And I'm going to switch over to the next part of this video, where we should be taking out this wall here. Perfect. We're going three high. And 
And now I'm going to be switching this uh, three high black pillar to the darker gray. Because that's really what it needs to be, so this way it matches the rest of the ship's uh, entry points in every room. Let's do a white line. <clears throat> And then there has to be a row of red because this, remember, this is our door. You see it's darker gray, red, and then white. Well, for the turbo lift. You can do right going across there. That looks good. Just hopping back over there. See what I did there? This way I just double check, making sure that my ship stays consistent all the way through. And we're going to do white and then a row of red. We'll do another row of the dark gray. This lighter gray pillar, this is our old. Um, shaft that was uh, going up to the left side of uh, the bridge but we decided uh or excuse me i, I decided that i don't want to have two rooms going up into the bridge so we're just going to have one i think anything more than one at that point would have been uh, overkill and again we would have been cutting into the real estate of our medical bay um, because even after this is done um i don't feel like it was maybe as big as it should have been it's not super small but it's not super super big either um i actually had a little bit of a trouble um uh, figuring out the shuttle or not the shuttle bay the sick bay for this uh, uh the area that i had here you know i had uh, screenshots to work with and i specifically intended to build this as a circular um as a rounded room because that was everything I can find off the screenshots from the uh, movie Enterprise. Uh, and that, that was my primary focus, that I wanted to use that uh, medical bay as a reference. But I found that when I was actually adding the bedding, um, it wasn't looking right. It was actually re looking really janky, in fact. And that stumped me for like a day or two until uh, I ended up uh, pretty much like making stallways for all of them and we'll get into that in the next couple of episodes um but there's definitely uh what i came up with looks really cool though it, it's not super complicated and at the same time again it has that retro feel i think um which is why i was trying to you know continue on through the rest of the ship i think i've done a pretty decent job so far with like making it feel like an older type ship because again you know this is a ship that has already been in service at this point you know when it was on discovery for about 10 years or so i think so it's not brand new so it should you know it should feel like it's come from a different era a little bit uh, so that's kind of what i was going for here but um you see at this point we're just filling in the flooring here and we're not going to do all of it in the video here but at this point all this floor here in the center you guys might as well fill it in um don't worry about going into the um, area below what we're going to end up doing in a future episode we're going to use this turbo shaft to, to go downwards we'll build uh, a hole to go down but we'll just use that same turbo uh, turbo lift to knock out two birds with one stone and it'll look pretty good but um yeah we're just uh i'm gonna bang out the rest of this i'm not gonna make you guys stick around for the rest of uh this part of it um at this point this entire center of the circle that you're working in that's uh inside your inner circular corridor you need to fill this in because this is whole area is going to being our medical bay anyway guys i think that's actually going to wrap it up for me and uh episode 55. I just want to thank you very much again for tuning into today's episode. And if you haven't, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button helping me in supporting the channel. I cannot thank you enough for that. Uh, it really does make a difference. And uh, the more uh, subscribers and more likes I get, uh, the more um, exposure I get at the same time also. So, I mean, that helps and then it'll encourage me to put out even more content for you guys. Also, uh, if whatever reason I was not specific enough during this tutorial or if there was a question or something that you got stuck on drop a comment below I'm usually pretty responsive in the comment section and I'll try to see what I can do to help you guys out um, and if there's also any other bills you want to see me 
any other builds that you guys would like to see me do, uh, drop a comment below. And uh, other than that, uh, you can always catch new episodes of my Minecraft videos Monday through Friday. And my Starship Evo builds are coming out on Mondays. Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap it up for me. just want to thank you again. I hope everybody has a great day, and I'll catch you on the next episode.